Mm -hmm. But I thought the Jets slayed it. And it's not just the fourth and the tenth pick that we talked about ad nauseum leading up to it. They jumped back into the first round to get Jermaine Johnson, which everybody thought was a steal in the draft at 26 overall. And then to get the, the best running back in this draft, Brees Hall, at the top of the second round. They traded, mm -hmm. traded with the Giants uh, to get up in there. Basically four first-rounders. And their four, four selections, um, when you look at them right there, uh, basically four first-rounders. They were all on Daniel Jeremiah's top prospect list, top 30. I think for them, they, they got some – Absolutely week one starters, but these are these might be some potential pro bowlers. Garrett Wilson right okay. here, 12, receiving Love touchdowns. Those. Look, the Jets haven't had a thousand yard receiver since B. Marshall and Eric Decker in 2015. I think when you look at Jermaine Johnson, absolutely he's starting week one, and this guy is gonna be dominating and terrorizing people in that division. There you see Brees Hall. I think when you look at the other draft picks too, Jeremy Rucker. Tight end. All right, not a lot of people know about him. A little H back there. Think about Kyle Juszczyk and how they used him in the 49ers. That's what this kind of guy is like. And then also Max Mitchell and Michael Clemens. Those last three picks were players that all played in the Senior Bowl. You know who coached the Senior Bowl? Jets. The New York Jets. Mm -hmm. So guys that they knew intimately, they knew, hey, look, here's how they practice. Yeah. Here's, here's the things that they could do outside of just the film that we saw. So I think it was a great draft for the Jets. I think Joe Douglas has got to be ecstatic, and I know Robert Sala as well. Mm.